Hi folks, it's Max from uh, GalaxyS4Root.com. Today I'm going to show you how to uh, enable native Wi-Fi tethering on your Sprint Galaxy S4. Um, there is a uh, zip uh, flashable file on uh, at uh, uh, XDA. Um, so let me show you how to do it. So right now, if you didn't pay for it, and if you try to connect to Hotspot, um, you'll say your plan may not have Hotspot service. Um, why? Anyway, here's how to get around it. Um, you'll have to have a rooted, uh, what is it, Sprint Galaxy S4, of course. Uh, if you don't have it rooted, go ahead and root it using my methods at galaxyS4root.com. And then you'll need to download this file. Um, I'll have links, but I'll show you how to download it. Um, another thing you'll have to check here, go to settings. This method is only, just in case, um, the system gets updated. Um, this is only for uh, M if your build number ends ends in uh, MDC, okay? And this is for stock um, stock ROM. I have a stock firmware, so go ahead and download. Go to downloadandroidrom.com. Uh, let me see. Download androidrom.com, and you will be able to download. Let me go on Wi-Fi here. I've got 4G. It's kind of a little twitchy between 4G and uh, 4G LTE and 3G. There, there we go. Go ahead and download. Uh, go to Galaxy S4 and go choose. I'll have the direct link to it so you can just download it. Go to SPHL720, which is the model number for your Sprint Galaxy S4. Go ahead and go to Tether here. And go ahead and uh, download um, the Odex, right? This bottom one is the Odex. If you have a custom ROM with MDC, then you can use that one. But at the time of this video, there isn't one. Uh, but Odex one is the one you need for uh, stock ROMs. Go ahead and wait four seconds here. And uh, you just got to enter the capture real quick. And uh, it says 4G fast with DishNet. All right. I'm going to go ahead and 4G fast with um, Dish. Whoops. Net. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and download, and this will download um, a zip file. All right, and when it's downloaded, um, you're gonna go ahead and reboot into Clock Room Recovery or Twerp. I don't care. Um, it doesn't matter. I'm, I currently have Twerp installed, but you know, it's just to install from zip and install it. So I'm gonna go ahead and power off my phone, and I'm gonna go ahead and reboot into Recovery. Uh, when it's powered off by holding down volume up, volume up, center home, and the power. Wait for the blue, little blue thing uh, booting recovery at the top. Uh, wait for that. Oh, and let go of all the buttons. And you'll boot into clock remote recovery or twerp, depending on which one you installed. And if you're using um, clock remote recovery, just use the install from uh, SD card and then find that file. And for twerp, just go to install. I go to my downloads uh, and then find the zip file and install it and that's pretty much it and go ahead and reboot and your uh, mobile hotspot should now be working and you'll be able to uh, tether your phone um, and uh, we'll, we'll test this out with my other phone real quick and I'll be back when this reboots I've rebooted and let me go ahead and turn on my mobile hotspot now it should be working now and uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. All right, and it's turning on. And I'm going to go ahead and connect it to um, this number here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, connect it from my other phone here. Uh, my Wi Fi here. And I'm going to go ahead and find SPH. There we go. That one there. And I'm going to type the uh, the password here, 415-225-7845, connect, alright, and it's obtaining an IP address, and we should see that one device connected right there connected. Let me go ahead and test out the internet connection here. And here we go. Let's just go type in just random H here. And boom. 
we've got uh, Wi-Fi tether working. Um, so that's how you can Wi-Fi tether your Sprint Galaxy S4. Again, uh, make sure you double check the model number and there should be new zip files. If there is um, new zip files for the newer firmware versions, I'll also update uh, the files on my site. So be sure to check out my site. I'll have the link. I always have links to my site in the description. Um, check it out and uh, um, yeah, download the pre pro appropriate version. Uh, but this should get you working as of you know for the for un until there's a new firmware update. And uh, anyway, thanks you guys for watching this video. Um, if this video has helped you tether your Sprint Galaxy S4, um, don't forget to hit that like button for me down here, subscribe button down there, and uh, subscribe to my email list at galaxys4root.com. Uh, we update you once a week with ROM of the Week, tips, hacks, and more. And uh, also, yeah, that's that's about it. And stay high on Android. Um, yeah, and just testing out the dual camera also. Working not too bad.